Good morning. This is Dr. Pranusha from KS Hegde Medical Academy. My topic for the paper is Evaluation of Spectrum of Scrotal Pathologies Using High Resolution Ultrasound. The scrotum is a musculofacial sac containing the testes, epididymis, and their appendages. Most of the diseases that affect the scrotum, causing swelling and tenderness, limit the clinician to differentiate intratesticular from extratesticular lesions and benign from malignant lesions. Acute painful conditions like acute testicular torsion and acute epididymo orchitis have overlapping clinical features, thereby requiring prompt diagnosis for providing the necessary treatment. High frequency ultrasound with color Doppler provides high quality anatomical detail viability, vascularity of the testis and helping in assisting to provide accurate diagnosis. My aims and objectives. To study the pattern of distribution of non-traumatic scrotal diseases among patients attending the outpatient department of KS Hegde Medical Academy, Mangalore. To study the sonographic appearance of the spectrum of scrotal diseases. My research methodology. Source of data are the patients attending the outpatient department of KS Hegde with clinical features of scrotal diseases. My sample size is 70. Type of study is descriptive study. Duration of the study is six months. Inclusion criteria, patients of all age groups with clinical manifestations of non-traumatic scrotal diseases. Exclusion criteria are the post-operative cases. Statistical methods, frequency and proportion were calculated using EPI-INFO for Windows version 7 and the results were depicted using appropriate graphs, tables and charts. The mean age of the study population was approximately 37 years. The most common pathology found in the study was hydrostate and the least common is testicular tumor. Epididymal cysts. The cysts range from 1.2 to 5.3 centimeters. Patients with larger cysts complain of pain. They revealed no vascularity of the cyst wall on color Doppler imaging. They were treated symptomatically. Acute epididymitis. A total of nine patients complained of pain and five patients complained of fever along with scrotal swelling. The USG features were enlarged epididymis in all the patients, increased epididymal vascularity and altered echogenicity in 90% of the patients. Other features such as reactive hydrocele and scrotal wall thickening further augment the diagnosis of epididymitis. Agarwal et al. in their study reported similar findings. Acute epididymo orchitis. Majority of the patients had enlarged testis and epididymis with decreased ecotexture and increased vascularity. USG features contributing to the diagnosis were bulky testis and epididymis showing hypoechoic echo pattern and increased vascularity in majority of the cases. On ultrasound, color Doppler sonography could rapidly and reliably differentiate epididymo orchitis from testicular torsion. Hydrocele and pyrocele. In our study, hydrocele was the most common finding, which is observed in about 19.8% of the scrotal lesions, which is comparable to the findings from many other studies, where the incidence of hydrocele has been reported to be about 21%. Pyrocele, all patients with, had pain and five patients had fever as a symptom. Majority of the patients had mildly enlarged ipsilateral testis and epididymis with increased vascularity. Varicocele. Patients presented with dull aching pain along with scrotal swelling. USG features were dilated pampiniform, tortuous pampiniform plexus with reflux of blood on Valsalva maneuver. 
testicular torsion. In our study, in all cases, it was unilateral. The ultrasound features were reversed orientation of the testis, hypoechoic ecotexture, and no color uptake on color Doppler imaging. The spermatic cord at the level superior to the epididymal head revealed a characteristic whirlpool sign with more than one and a half turns of the spermatic cord. The patients underwent surgery, the testis was non-viable and the type of torsion was intravaginal in all the cases. Testicular microlithiasis. The subjects examined belong to the younger age group of about 10 to 30 years. No, associ no associated mass lesions were found in these patients. They were found as incidental lesions. Conclusion. High frequency ultrasonography with color Doppler study serves as an excellent diagnostic imaging modality in the evaluation of scrotal swellings. It is the in investigation of choice as it is highly sensitive, easy to perform, widely available, repeatable, and involves no risk of ionizing radiation, especially to radiosensitive parts like testis. It helps to arrive at an accurate diagnosis in a majority of patients with scrotal swellings, thus guiding further management. Periodic follow-up USG studies are recommended for all patients. These are my references. Thank you.